Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday in my region, on the 5th of April, Microsoft rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider preview build to the beta channel Insiders. And last week's build was 22635.3430. And that rolled out with the update KB5036992. And because we are getting closer now to our annual 24H2 feature update for Windows 11, uh, the beta channel now is starting to test features that have a strong possibility to roll out with 24H2 later this year. Now, there's not too much going on in the beta channel, and we get one or two um, improvements that um, are rolling out. And the first is Microsoft says now when you uh, copy both text or image files, the Copilot icon will change appearance and animate to indicate that Copilot can help. Now, in this case, we can see that's the uh, photos um, icon. So obviously, this is an image, and it gives you different options. So you can send to Copilot in Windows. You can create similar image, and you can also analyze this image. So it's giving you a couple of options. And they carry on to say, when you hover your mouse over the Copilot icon, it will provide you a menu of actions, as mentioned, that you can take, such as creating a similar image or analyzing an image. And if you select an action on the menu, it will launch Copilot with the action ready to go. So um, basically what's happening here is that um, Copilot activates on dragging files, and then it will basically change its icon, um, and in this case, an image. So we're getting that Photos app icon instead of the Copilot icon. And uh, there's a strong possibility that this feature will roll out with 24H2 because Microsoft is giving Copilot quite a lot of attention. And this is a feature now that's basically been tested in um, all the different channels in the Insider program. Now, I'm just going to mention the next. Um, Microsoft say they are also beginning to roll out, again, the ability to share directly to specific Microsoft Teams channels and group chats directly within the Windows Share window. And this was a feature that did originally roll out with a previous build, but was temporarily disabled to fix some issues. And those are the new features and improvements. So as mentioned, um, not too much happening um, in the beta channel for last week. But um, we also get new known issues. And the new known issues are mainly to do with the left aligned taskbar. So as an example, if we, in the stable version, if we click on our taskbar settings and we head over to taskbar behaviors and we left align the taskbar as mentioned uh, in a previous video a feature we are going to see roll out um, possibly roll out with 24h2 and i'll leave this video in the end screen is that the widgets that widget icon for the taskbar when you left align isn't going to be here next to the search box it's going to be popped uh, to the right hand side very similar to what we get uh, in Windows 10 very similar to the news and interest feed here to the right hand side of the taskbar next to the system tray and then you'll also have an option when you click on that it'll open up to the right hand side instead of the left hand side like it currently does as well so that's one or two known issues that Microsoft is addressing in the beta channel because obviously the beta channel is still a preview build and they have a couple of um, bugs to iron out before that reaches the stable channel. So that's more or less class. what's new in last week's latest beta channel build 22635-3430 with update KB5036992. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.